Is it properly wired? You never know that. Usually well, they're underwired. <coughs> usually they're underwired. Best thing to do is have a way of telling how much electricity you're getting. This is a simple device. It just plugs into your electrical outlet. You can either plug it into the panel or you can plug it in. You can plug it in there. Plug it in. You can have it work up in your RV, plug it into the wall, and it'll tell you how much power you have coming into your RV. You've got to have, you always want to be at 120. Maybe 115, that's fine. One thing you have to be aware of is when it drops lower. If it drops lower, things aren't going to run, like your air conditioner. At 109 volts, your air conditioner will not run. It'll, your fan will run, but the compressor won't run. This is another device you can get. This one does a little more than just check the volts. We're up to 911 volts. All night long, all night. I think you're supposed to call it. That's four. Okay. 115, 116. Now, this one also has a polarity checker on it. <coughs> and these two lights up here, which are not lit, for a reason. Two lights not lit means open ground. That's because I'm using one of these adapters on here. <coughs> this is a three-prong with a ground, and I'm plugging it into a two-prong. And it tells you if it has the correct polarity, one light will light. Um, if it's a roof polarity, the light on the other side will light. Uh, open neutral, both lights will light. No lights, it'll have a uh, open ground. It's good to have a little device like that. They're not expensive. You can even get some. There's one pictured in the thing here. This one with this digital monitor, this one's a little bit more lab elaborate. This one uh, runs about 83 bucks. This yellow one's about 1995. Good enough. Maybe 29 for this one. Should have something that tells you that you're getting the right amount of 110 volt when you, when you plug into the campground. <clears throat> My little note about that plug. Now, if you do plug one of these little checkers in and something isn't right, what do you do? Just plug in and go. <laughs> no, you don't. You have to report it to the office at the campground. Tell them that you're not getting a ground. Tell them the neutral's not right. Polarity's reversed, whatever. Or you're only, or you're getting low voltage. With low voltage, you can ruin your air conditioner. As the air conditioner tries to, the compressor tries to kick up at 109 or 108 volts. Or if it runs, if it kicks on at 109 volts and starts to run, that's not enough power for that air conditioner. So it, you can damage the air conditioner, you can damage other electric appliance. No matter. Is there a bug over there? No. Oh. <laughs> How common of a problem is that? Very. We've had people where we've sold them a brand new unit, we've delivered it to a campground, and it's uh, Memorial Day weekend. Everybody and their brother is out and they have RVs stacked one on top of the other. And we're getting calls. That new RV is a piece of junk. That air conditioner doesn't work. Fan works. There's hot air coming out of it. Well, you go over and check the output, and they got 105 volts coming out of the out of the power pole. The air conditioner's not going to come on. The fan will come on, but the air conditioner will not come on. The, the compressor. And you see that all the time. 
some of your better campgrounds, uh, they don't have that problem. They're wired well. They're putting a proper amount of, of power out. But when you get to some of the ones that are not, not that good of a campground, you know, you find if they're packed with a lot of people, drawing a lot of power, very hot day, all the air conditioners are on, you're going to see that happen. The power's going to drop. We had friends that went out to the campground and they camped in the same area for years. Yes. We went out there to, to one year, plugged in four units. Each had their separate box over there. The ground wire was loose in the box. Yeah. It blew all the crap out of all of the units. Refrigerators. Refrigerators, yeah. uh, uh, converters, everything. And the campground says, oh well, yeah. it wasn't our fault. <laughs> well, there again, there's, that's, why, that's why it's important to check before you plug in. Now, another thing too, Yes. Uh, like you said, you got a lot of people on one line, 50 campers. Is it safe to use a uh, 50 amp adapter plug? I got a 30 amp camper. Yeah. So is it safe to plug into the 50 amp and it goes 50 down to 30? Is it safe to use that? Or? Yeah, because you're not going to, your, your converter is only going to draw so many amps, period. If you're plugged into 50, your converter's only gonna, gonna use so many amps anyway. Well, when you got that many campers, you're not getting a true right. 120 volts, yeah. right? No, you may not be. And it depends, again, it depends upon the campground. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one, yeah. of, one of the things you can do, is that big yellow box right here is a voltage regulator and it weighs about 800 pounds, I'm not gonna lift it up. <laughs> What the voltage regulator does is it monitors the power at the pole. And in the event the power gets to around 117 volts, it begins to boost it up so that you won't drop into that. This one will boost up as high as 10%. Um, so why it's safe to use the adapter plug like right that? You, yeah, you can. You got anytime you're doing, using adapters, you got to keep an eye on them. No matter which, you know, how safe you think it is. Um, that isn't the that one that I just passed around. Isn't the only one I've seen. I've seen other that are the other way, where they're plugging 30 amp into 50 amp. And, um, you don't want 50 amps going into 30 amp. It, it's, it's it's not going to make any difference on yeah. it. If you take a 50 amp put the adapter in there and you're drawing the 30 amp for your trailer, if a voltage drop goes down to 109 volts, it's, I don't care whether you're plugged into the 50 or you're plugged into the 30, the voltage still is going to be dropped and there's yeah. your problem. You're the, not, you're not going to have The amperage has nothing to do with the, the voltage amperage. drop. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, these you know, that, that can be a help. I know people that have used them, and, and uh, they do work, and they work well. They're not cheap. This particular one I got on a closeout sale at $600. That's a 50 amp. They could be wired directly in or used separately as a portable. Of course, as a portable, I'd be leery. I wouldn't want this thing outside my RV just hanging around. They, they don't make a pick for that. <laughs> you would need one. You need something to cover up. A phony looking rock or something. Or you would need to catch a coyote and tie it to it. 